Hello everybody, Levi Clay here, back again for another Q&A session. Today I'm answering a question that comes to me via YouTube. I had a nice chap send me a message and ask the question, what picks do I use and do I put any value or stock into high-end, expensive, boutique guitar picks? Before I talk about the picks that I use, I think picks are very important um, when when you're playing the guitar. It's the thing that makes the connection with the strings. And um, just as a test, whatever pick you use, it doesn't really matter. If you pick up the pick that you use, play the strings with it, and then pick up a coin and play the strings with a coin, what you'll notice is a difference in tone, right? A huge difference in tone. Um, and likewise, if you pick up a piece of cardboard and play the strings with a piece of cardboard, you, you will hear a difference. I'm just grabbing one of my special picks. Um, you'll hear a difference. So what that tells me is that there's a big difference between materials um, and what I've kind of come to the conclusion of over time is that the hardness of the material makes a huge difference. Um, I can demonstrate that now. You won't hear it perfectly but just to give you an idea if I play uh, a string with this piece of cardboard and then I play the string with a uh, 20 pence piece you have a different sound if I use uh, something like a jazz 3 And then the picks that I actually use. They all sound different. Um, and I believe from testing that that's down to material. So I don't use one pick for everything. I use different picks for different things when recording. But for the most part, I'm using a uh, V-pick. I use V-picks, medium pointed. Uh, this is a pearly gates, so the white ones. Medium. I like these because you have three points on the pick, so I feel that I get three picks for my money. They're not boutique um, costs. There are some picks out there that are more expensive than those. Um, I've just found another thin V pick again. Sounds quite thin. Versus different sounds based on the thickness of the picks. So yeah, the V-Pix medium pointed. Now Vinnie at V-Pix was kind enough to make me some of these, which are V-Pix that have my name on them. Very cool. Um, these are a bit thinner than the ones I use. The ones I actually use are 2.75 millimeters thick. They're very thick um, because what I look for in a pick is a pick that doesn't bend at all. Something like uh, this. It was a Paul Gilbert Ibanez H16 pick. These bend a little bit. And the way I like to uh, explain it to my students is it's the equivalent of using, uh, trying to write with a pencil made out of rubber. What you want is an efficient transfer of energy when you write on the paper. You want your hand to do something and that motion to be transferred onto the page. You don't want the hand to do something and then the pencil to interpret that based on its movement. So I want something that's relatively solid. Um, so I use the VPix for 95% of everything I do. Um, I have some other VPix in here that I'm particularly fond of. Uh, they're in this box over here. Let me just grab those. I actually keep a lot of picks. Um, this box is full of all different picks because, um, yeah, as I say, certain picks for certain things. Um, let's go through here. The picks I like. So I really like this pick. This is a V-Pick uh, Dimension Junior. This is 4.25 mil thick, and it comes to that fine point at the end. I really like this pick. Again, it has a very different sound uh, because it has a scratchy edge to it, so you get this scratchy. Which I kind of like the sound of when I'm playing with distortion. Um, when I'm playing uh, acoustic guitar or anything where I need a bit more of a strummy sound, I'll go into my bag of picks and I'll use something like this that has a bit more bend to it. This is just um, well, it's an unbranded pick actually, but it's probably you know Dunlop 
0.73 thickness. There's a bit of bend to it, and that sounds better for the acoustic strumming thing. Um, I don't like the Jazz 3s because I find them too small. I prefer, if I'm going to use something like that, I like the Jazz 3 XLs. Didaria make this nice one, which is uh, an NYL Pro. It's 1.4mm, it's a little bit bigger. I can get on board with these. But for the most part, I like something thick like this, um, my V-Picks. When it comes to thumb picks, uh, again, I use a few different things. I use these um, Didaria thumb picks, which are nice. I've got some uh, Dunlop ones kicking around, but the ones I really like are these Fred Kellys, the Fred Kelly Bumblebees, because the thumb pick is on this pivot thing, and you can move it back and forward and get it on the thumb in a way that kind of feels like a pick. So I really like those, the Fred Kelly Bumblebees, um, for all of the, you know... All of that stuff I use the Fred Kelly ideally um, do I put any value in boutique picks again to a degree I know some builders that are charging 20 euros a pick uh, because the picks are being made by hand as a consumer I don't give a shit how your picks are made if you're stubborn enough to make uh, a product in the most inefficient way possible that's on you don't pass that cost on to the con consumer. Get a machine that can do it for you or that can do the bulk of the work for you and then finish everything by hand. And you bring the cost down and you bring your time down. Um, so I don't think there's any reason that a pick should ever um, be that expensive. And there are plenty of pick companies out there that I really like. Um, I've got some Hawk picks kicking around that they sent me and they're really cool. Um, Blue Chip made some great picks. Uh, Red Bear obviously make great picks, but when it comes to those things, I think you're really getting at the same thing. All of these boutique picks, what they all have in common is they're all made out of a material that's very hard, that doesn't have any give. I think that's what's important in getting a good pick. So do you need to spend an absolute fortune on a pick? No. For me, things need to be cost effective. Uh, the V picks, these, they're a couple of bucks. And you get three points on it. So I find that these really last. Love these picks. Been using them for years now. Absolutely love them. Um, the Dimension Junior, which I showed you earlier, they're about 10 bucks each, and that's pushing it. These, I don't mind if I lose these. And I have, at any given time, this skull is absolutely full of V-picks, so I never run out of those. I really like the, uh, the red ones as well. Call me crazy. Call me Eric Johnson, but I find that they have a different sound. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the answer, in summary, is the V-Pix medium pointed. Absolutely love that pick. Um, and do I put any stock in boutique picks, like Hawk picks and things like that? Um, not so much. Um, not that they're not great. They're all great products, but like I say, I think... Um, there comes a point when where you're investing money into something and you're not getting a return for the money that's going in. Um, having said that, I do also believe that a very important part of playing the guitar and having a good sound is about being happy with your sound. And if things like that have some sort of placebo effect where you spend money on a piece of gear and it in your mind it makes you sound better, not necessarily a bad thing. So, there we go. That is my answer. But what do you guys think? What do you guys play? What picks do you use? Do you think I'm full of shit? Could, am I crazy? Do you think these picks are terrible? People talk about the chirp sound that they make. Never bothered me. All picks make a sound. These are so hard, they just make a, a higher pitch sound. Um, oh, I kind of also forgot to mention, the way I like to test a pick is I hold it and I drop it and listen to the sound it makes. When you compare that V-Pick, hard and dense material with these Ibanez H16s, Heavy and hard. That's what I like. Uh, yes. If you have enjoyed this, you can check me out on Patreon by clicking the link in the top left. You can subscribe by clicking the button in the bottom left. And you can check out two of my other videos in the top right and bottom right. Your support is very much appreciated. If you enjoy this content, please do tell a friend because it helps keep the channel going. Peace out, guys. Pleasure to serve and entertain. And I'll be back for another video again soon. Bye.